Earlier, we spoke to Aki Olaoye, a public affairs analyst who is also a member of the Labour Party. Olaoye had this to say. The Labour Party only emerged on the scene about eight months ago. Uh, however, it's been around, uh, to use that word, uh, within the sphere of politics. Uh, what you find with the logo, it went through a revision. And at the point the revision was done to upgrade the graphics and make it a lot more modern uh, for whatever was inserted. Um, you would hope that uh, INEC and uh, a lot of the smart people that work there, mostly professionals, would have looked at the logo and said for the use of elections, perhaps it would be great to make sure it has a match with the other establishment parties. That was overlooked. They simply took the logo, Mama Papa Pekin, with the forward ever inscribed in it and uh, included it as part of the um, insignia on the election ballot paper. So we've just you know, really gone as far as making sure we're communicating with the public, enlightening voters, not to look for Labour Party on the list of logos, uh, looking for the letters, but rather saying the party logo with the mother, the child, and the father should be what they, they, they search for. But I'm just skeptical. Looking at the logo right now on, on the screen, you have the Labour Party well written, and then you have the Ford Ever, which of course is the Labour Party's signage. But I, I'm wondering why it wasn't represented this way, because you were trying to accuse INEC and its people for not um, doing that for Labour Party. I, don't you so think I, I, I call it an oversight rather than an accusation that's right. uh, on the part of INEC. And I think, again, they've, they've held elections for the past uh, five cycles, uh, going back to 1999. Uh, it's only fair that, you know, Labour Party, even if we had a logo or an insignia that was not going to properly educate a voter on this is the party logo, I think there should have been conversations. However, we're past that point. It's water under the bridge. Uh, what we're looking forward to is really making sure people know what logo to look for on election day. Fortunately, uh, there are no other logos that you know have the same representation as in Mama Papa Pekin for Labour Party. So we're hoping, uh, again, you know, just making sure that there's no miseducation of voters at the polls by you know unscrupulous individuals by believing that people will get this message and vote accordingly. And so what are you doing to ensure that, especially now that it's just ours to the election? So what you find is a lot of obedience, uh, mainly you know, individuals who fuel the Labour Party's rise to prominence as an establishment party, doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Equally, the party through its grassroots uh, mobilization and communications is equally going as far as making sure that people in rural communities and the hinterlands and equally metropolitan areas get this message, understand that LP, Labour Party, will not be represented on the ballot paper. Therefore, you know, really seeing that this message travels far and wide. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.